Palm oil is found in our weekly essentials, our chocolatey treats, and even the everyday household items we buy. This mystery ingredient is in mass demand, but how much do we as consumers know about it and its effects on our environment? I've come to Tropical Butterfly House in Sheffield to meet some of those affected. Hi there. Hi. Hi. Nice to meet you. I'm Becky. I'm Lucy. And so what we're going to see today, we're going to go see some retail leaders. that one place in the world which is just up off the coast of Africa. What type of personalities do lemurs have? Well depending on the different species of lemurs they all have their own special personalities. They are um, ringtails I find really playful and are very naughty sometimes as you just saw. Um, the red rust are a bit more um, docile, they just like to sleep all day, they're pretty lazy. In Madagascar we since we've been there in the last thousand years we have destroyed 80% of their rainforest. So cutting down those trees, deforestation, palm oil, they become very endangered. Now lemurs are the most endangered mammals in the world now. Lemurs only have one natural predator, but there is a bigger issue affecting them in the wild. The problem is that palm oil is in such high demand that rainforests around the world are being destroyed and its inhabitants are seriously endangered. However, the source of this issue lies a lot closer to home. Around 50% of packaged consumer goods contain palm oil. It's the world's most popular vegetable oil for its versatility and high yield. I've asked Eileen, a grandmother of four, to buy her typical weekly shop. I'm now going to take a look at the results. You've gone out today and bought what looks to be a normal weekly shopping. Yeah, this is my normal, well, more or less my normal weekly shop. So we do have these chocolate bars here. Got the Toffee Pops, they contain palm oil. The Montana Bars, they contain palm oil as well. Yeah. We do actually have the Dairy Milk Fruit and Nut here, and that does contain palm oil. But it's not always that clear. Some products list the ingredient as vegetable oil or vegetable fats, like these crisps. Other products, like Colgate, do contain palm oil but don't list it in their ingredients. Lurpak, however, state on their packaging that they use no palm oil in their butter. Then there's products like Mornflakes breakfast cereals, which not only list the ingredient, but inform buyers that the palm oil used is sustainably sourced. Out of the 27 items Eileen bought, nine contained palm oil. That's a third of her shopping. What do you think of what you've found today? Actually, I'm quite surprised, because it's not something that I would go shopping and start looking for. It's quite eye-opening, really, to see how many products do actually contain palm oil. But what surprises me most is that Lurpak doesn't contain it because Lurpak is, you know, the best butter really and it's one, the one that I love and uh, so I'm quite pleased that it doesn't contain it because I can't, can't live without my Lurpak. I spoke to Simon Christmas to find out more about what companies like Mornflake are doing to improve their sustainable sourcing. So Green Palm is um, a supply chain option um, endorsed by the RSPO, which is the Roundtable on Sustainable Palm Oil. And the Green Palm option is an offsetting mechanism. It allows RSPO certified growers in Malaysia and Indonesia to sell less certified production by converting it into certificates. Consumer brands, retailers, and etc can then buy those certificates, so in theory supporting the production. In 2010, several companies pledged to source 100% sustainable palm oil by 2015. Five years later, let's look at the results. Tesco said 70% of their UK palm oil is from a sustainable source, with the remaining volumes covered by green palm certificates. Sainsbury's sourced 95% of the palm oil in their own brand products sustainably. They are also the first major UK retailer to launch a washing up liquid using sustainable palm oil. Unilever, who produced Purcell and Flora, said 100% of their palm oil already comes from a sustainable source. Asda and Morrison's failed to comment. If the ethical issues surrounding palm oil are still a concern, there is the option of cutting it out altogether. I spoke to Victoria Bryson at a vegan festival in Leeds. I don't consume anything with palm oil and I don't buy anything for anybody else with palm oil in it either because of the deforestation issues that it causes and it endangers the habitats of orangutans and other wild animals and I just don't agree with it. I manage completely fine, I don't miss out on anything, any type of food I want to eat I can get 
It's just a case of checking labels. Um, there's plenty of choice out there. Through making more conscious shopping decisions and getting the big names on board, the move to sustainably sourcing palm oil is possible and will keep creatures like these around for a long, long time.